Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is my new 24 by 8.5 enclosed trailer. And have you ever wanted to have a winch in your enclosed trailer and have it completely removable and able to swap it between vehicles? Well, let me show you a little contraption we've come up with here. We bought a Tundra winch receiver, two inch winch receiver basket for our whole winch setup here. And basically what we're doing is we're taking a 30 by 30 sheet of 3 16 steel we're cutting out a couple plates. Our top plate is gonna be 14 by eight inches, and then our bottom plates are gonna be six by eight and six by eight because there is a beam down the middle of the trailer and I want this to be centered. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this two inch receiver and I'm going to make a bracket and weld it to that top plate. So I'm gonna take this L channel, cut up the pieces that I need to mount them to the plates for the six inch pieces to weld them underneath to the trailer frame. I'm gonna drill four holes through this plate couple holes through the other plates. We're going to sandwich them together between the plywood and then I'll be able to mount my winch whenever and wherever I want. Because I do not want to dedicate my nice big winch to just the trailer. I want to be able to put it on the back of a vehicle. So if you find this video helpful in progressing your project, leave me a thumbs up. If you find any areas I need improvement, feel free to leave some constructive criticism and let me know how I'm doing. So without further ado, let's get into this. <laughs> So we've got our four plates cut out here. These six by eight plates are for underneath and this 14 by eight plate is for up top. And then this little guy, she's just gonna be a little plate in there. I'm gonna weld onto this plate to shim this receiver up so it's level with it. Because as you can see, we have these little plates on the bottom of the basket and this is raised up a bit. So we need to sit in there flush and still have these contact onto the floor. We're gonna cut our L channel to size right now. So we're gonna weld our L channel here, here, here and here so we have something to weld to the frame with and then uh, we're going to weld this to here and then we're going to weld this guy to that guy drill our bolt holes and paint it all and then we can mount it in the trailer so let's keep moving <laughs> I forgot to mention in this part that I'm actually notching out the plate so that they can butt together and I have an extra spot to weld. Yeah, right on. Keep giving her, buddy. So what I've done here is taken 3 16 cell channel and notched these out so I could butt them up like this. I'm going to weld them along here, 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 and here. And then when I go to put it under on the frame, I'm going to weld it to the frame here and here. Drill my bolt holes here and here, here and here, 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 here. Sandwich them. And then I'm going to weld this plate to it. And then I'm going to weld this on top of this plate like this. And then I am going to paint her all black. Who knows? Maybe I'll get fruity and paint her blue. No, I'm not going to. It's going to be black. Once you have black, you never go back. Oof. Get the welder on here. Tack them plates together.
first one is done. Second one is tacked in place, ready to weld it. So we have the plates all fabbed up. Got a few coats of paint on them. We just have to blast the frame off a bit. We're putting here on the tongue and we have to blast the paint off the edges here. Then they're ready to be tacked in. I painted the undersides of them too. Hopefully prevent as much rust as possible due to them being under the tongue. I know you can't avoid rust on these trailers, but you can certainly try. All right, we've wrapped up the enclosed trailer winch job here. I'll show you guys the finished product. So the electric winch is all mounted to the floor here with my plate that I built with my little receiver hitch. You just pull that pin out and you slide it out and take it wherever you want. Well, of course you gotta disconnect your battery connections first, but that's fairly easy. So to power the winch, I threw in a 900 cranking amp group 31 commercial battery and uh, I have it set up so it can charge while I'm driving. Basically what I did was I ran a positive wire and a negative wire to it from my trailer wiring harness and my battery box up there. And I put an inline 15 amp fuse in it. Don't quote me on the 15 amp fuse. I just put a 15 in there for now because there's a 15 up front. So do not take my advice on that. I could be completely wrong. I also put in this channel track. That's what you call it. I can't remember what you actually call it, but bolted that onto the wall with leg bolts and... <laughs> Use the same little channel lock things here with these channel lock tie downs, I guess you could call them. The ratchet strap to hold my workbench against the wall. Um, I did it this way because I didn't want to use L brackets because then I'd have to screw those out every time I want to remove it. I wanted this a quick, easy in and out type deal. Same with the winch. You know, the winch, all you gotta do is pull that pin, slide it out, and disconnect your battery terminals. But yeah, let me show you guys what I did up front here. I just took my ground wire, which in my case is white, and I put it with the white wire, which is your ground. And then I took the red wire and put it on the red wire and ran that up through the bottom of the trailer. Drilled a hole. Okay, so what I did here was I drilled a hole through the floor and then up through the battery box so it was perfectly go through and you can't see it. So the battery box isn't exactly removable unless you do a bit of wiring, but here's how I ran my wiring for now. I plan on putting it in actual wire loom, but I can't find my wire loom, so this will have to do for now. Those are my plates that I built, bolted down with grade eight hardware and all painted up. And uh, yeah, overall, not a bad job. So it took me about, I don't know, maybe four hours to do all this. Well worth it in my opinion. I mean, you don't have to build a removable one. You could just build a plate and bolt it down to the plate. There's bolt holes in the bottom of this winch basket, but we'll show you guys a little demonstration here with the winch actually running. This is the way I decided to do it, and I hope it helps someone. If you got any value out of this video, and it helped you out, consider liking and subscribing to my channel. But yeah, until next time, thanks for watching. Well, it's all